Welcome back to Season 3 of the Dascar Pokemon Pro Series. Today we head to the United Kingdom here in Silverstone in the Silverstone circuit for the running of the IZOD Grand Prix of Europe. The first of two races in Great Britain in, the, in England, UK. Whatever, there's a lot of names for this country. Wow, I can't even keep track. So, David Land on the pole position here at Silverstone as we're about to go green for 13 laps. And I do apologize in advance for the awful cameras this track has. But the green flag is out. This was formerly a Pokemon Cup Series track. Now it's hosting a Pokemon Pro race for the first time. Look at Austin LaPlante. Great run off the bottom. But David Land, though, he takes it away. And I think that might be LaPlante's best chance unless if he comes down the turn. This is where a couple drivers tend to spin. A spin, even the leaders. And so far it's clean. Oh no! Nathan Hudson's upside down! One of the home one of the home favorites here at Silverstone's flips. Oh man, he wanted to represent his country. And he flipped out. Is that gonna bring out the yellow? That will bring the yellow out. Oh, and O'Neill Dalvin is on pit road. That's a tough break for Nathan Hudson. He doesn't even make it through one lap in one of his home courses. David Land hanging on over LaPlante. And third place, Anthony Lopez. Fourth is Joseph Romanuk. And fifth place, Henry Cavanaugh. You never know, though. This is, this, this is an unpredictable track, so it tends to get a little crazy. But not this time. Breaking zone here. The final S curve. Land's going to hold off. Someone spins. Lopez is spun. Someone else too. I think that's Robert Piant. And he spun too. A little bit of a mess. To start off here at Silverstone. And oh wow. How did Nathan Hudson flip in Silverstone? We gotta take a look though. We gotta see the first caution of the day. This was no doubt about it. He flipped. Probably the best view I can give you at this track. And here's what happened. Robert Piet was way too close to Hudson. Wasn't paying attention to his steering wheel. And he got tight. And then there you see the 25 giving him a flip. And he goes upside down. And how did the 40 get involved in this? Oh! Oh no! He got hit. He got hit. Someone hit him. Yep. Right here. Alex Rago, Joseph Shrigley turn around. And Balvin hits the wall. A couple more drivers spin. As you see, Rago's in it. Brandon Nichols... Carter Belair and James Shelley spun. And man, a tough break for Nathan Hudson. This is what he saw on board when he flipped. And we're going to have a look at him on board. A little bit of vertigo there, but... Tough break for Nathan Hudson. Was one of the home one of the one of the favorites to win this race because this is his home country. And well, it just didn't work out the way he wanted to. But there's still one more race in the UK after this. The next one at Brands Hatch, so he's hoping to win. And looks to go to Brands Hatch and hopes for a better result. But in the meantime, David Land leads us back to green. Look at LaPlante go for the race lead. Wasting no time trying to challenge the 91. Joseph Romanuk also in third. 
looks to go to win two of three races here in Europe. And LaPlante takes it. Great move by the 49. A great start. He was off already. Let's see if he'll survive the turn. He does. Lots smoother for these cars. The stock cars when they raced here, they got loose everywhere. But not this, not but not the open wheel cars. They get a lot more room. And now the plant's the leader, and David Land's got to be thinking, how did he lose the lead? Now he has to catch up, and he hopes to challenge again. Kavanaugh, oh boy, Kavanaugh was trying to peek down low, can't do it. Sam Rogers right now competing, Connor Breton as well. Oh, Eric Powers looked like he was going to challenge Ryan Acosta. Number seven is running in P7 right now. Finn Guy and Noah Ponzer are battling for a position here. And Ponzer looks to have the advantage. He does. Noah Ponzer clears Finn Guy. Let's see if these drivers will make it through the final S curve. No. Two drivers spun. Acosta spins. And more drivers spin as well. Jonathan Fitzwater spins. But are they going to keep it together? Oh no, Acosta slams it to another driver. That's Rago. Oh no. Man, yep, right there. They slip to another driver. The yellow flag is going to come out. And, and the caution did come out in time. Oh, we were going to have a clean run until that happened. Great. LaPlan is the leader. We'll see if David Land will have anything for him on the restart. And, well, we'll see. You, you can. Here we go. James Shelley going to, wait, I thought James Shelley was going to start in front. I was going to say. It was going to be an intense, it's going to be interesting, it would be, have been interesting. Green flag again, David Land picking up where he left off. Almost. Oh no, now he's going to lose second place. Good news for LaPlan, he might lose second. Well, Land might lose second. David Land though, able to go through. I don't think Kavanaugh's done, I don't think Henry's done. Oh, he's trying to stay in the draft. And now the hard turn. Made it through. Made it through. And I guess they don't spin like the stock cars do when the Pullman Cup Series ran at this course. Whoops. When the Pullman Cup Series ran, ran at this course, they always spun on that corner. But not the, not the open wheel cars, though. Guess they have a lot more air and allows them to stop at that given time, unlike the stock cars, which they had to pivot a lot, pivot very hard, and sometimes they do it a little too hard and get loose. But this one has a lot more control, apparently. I'm not sure how that works, but it does have a little bit more control, and these open wheel cars have a little bit more experience. Another caution is out, Alex Hawking's on pit road. Hawking's just spun out, and we're going to take a look at what happened. And LaPlante has been untouchable since the restart. And now it'll be set up a four-lap dash to determine who will win here at Silverstone. Wow, Kavanaugh had a chance. Kavanaugh had a chance to make a pass, but couldn't take it. What happened to Hawkins? Did it hap did he brought out the yellow? He did. Somewhere. Oh right here. 
Here's what happened. This is what happened right after the restart. As Nick Pericles got right into Hawkins and then spun out Justin Roberts. And he spun himself out to Noah Ponzer. Even though he didn't get hit, it didn't look like Ponzer got hit by anybody. And he just spun with them. Oh no, he got hit by Pericles and Brandon Nichols. Never mind. Oh no, Jeffrey Finn guy must have hit him. And he got spun too. So that's brought out the yellow. Apparently that was a full course caution. Which I didn't agree, but that's the way some it goes sometimes. So we'll have to go by whatever they think. It's a caution. Four laps to go here at Silverstone. It's do or die time. For the drivers in the back to get by LaPlan. Will LaPlan hold on? Or will there be a twist here at Silverstone? Coming back to the restart. Volkswagen looks to win and the green is out. And it looks like David Land. It appears he didn't get a good restart. Good news for the 49. And now a chance for Kavanaugh to get second. Still hanging on. Oh, he might be losing the 91. But the 91 got a bad jump. And I think my, his chance might be over. Wait, not yet. I thought caution would be out at this point. But not yet. We haven't seen a caution yet. This could be interesting. I thought I saw someone spin. Now I'm just protecting myself a bit. Should be careful with that. And the plan has pulled away. Now David Land's got to worry about Henry Cavanaugh. And look at Cavanaugh catching up to the 91. This could get interesting. A battle for the second position. This happens. LaPlante could pull away and he might not have to worry about them. He might just, all he would have to do is just be able to get through the corners at least like three, four, three, three more times. And hope for caution maybe to make this easier and be able to win it. Here we go. Oh, Kavanaugh looks to have the edge a little bit. They're coming down the final S curves. This could get interesting if this gets pretty tight. And looks like Lance going to protect it. We're still green. Still green. And LaPlante hangs on. We got a battle for fourth place. Three to go with battle for fourth as Connor Breen looks to move up. But look at the 53 as the bit of the edge. Oh, little bit of bumping there. That's Sam Rogers. But he made it through. I'm not sure how Sam Rogers was able to keep it together. Keep the position away from Connor Breton. But a great move. Hard breaking zone right here. And he's, they got it. Now Jeffrey Finn guy is going to lose a position to the 10 of Eric Powers. Now you see LaPlante's lead. He's pulled away a little bit. David Land. Now he's, well, he doesn't have to worry about the 9 pretty much for a while. Less of the 9, though, is able to get a great amount of speed much faster than the 91 is going right now. But David Land, all he needs to focus on is to try to catch up to the 49. The plan has been untouchable since taking the race lead early on. But David Land hopes to change that. Oh no, they're pitting! They're coming down pit row with two to go! Now this race is all about fuel strategy! How about that? David Land has stayed out! He's got the race lead! But the question is, will he have enough fuel? 
This is now turned into a fuel mileage race. And now he's got to save fuel. He's got a comfortable lead right now. He needs to worry about saving fuel. LaPlante had to come down pit road. A couple more drivers pitted. Oh man. Never thought I'd see this twist coming. David Land, he's got to be saving fuel now. He's got a comfortable lead over Sam Rogers. Well, not big, but still, he could be saving a little fuel. Doesn't really look like that Land is actually saving fuel. He's gone a little faster. <laughs> I think this fuel saving is done by Sam Rogers. Well, I think this might be their way of saving fuel, but we'll see if it'll work for David Land. It was all Austin LaPlante most of the race, but then he ran out of gas all of a sudden. Now it's a fuel mileage race, down with two laps to go. We'll see if the 91 can make it. Not much position bottles right now, but this is all about waiting playing the waiting game and seeing who will make it out on top on the best fuel strategy. Let's see if David Land's going to stay out or is he going to come down pit road. He's not going to come down so he'll try to make it with one lap to go. White flag is out here in Silverstone. One to go for David Land. Will the fuel strategy hold up? Here at Silverstone, almost a two-second lead over Sam Rogers. And Anthony Lopez is out of pit road. Be careful, buddy. Oh, man. Going to get right into Jeffrey Finn guy. Going to merge onto the track. And Finn guy is going to get run off him. And he gets by. All eyes, though, on David Land. We'll see if he has enough fuel to finish the race. Down the hard braking zone, we stay green throughout the final four laps, which is very welcoming for these drivers. At least they don't have to end this race under caution. At least they ran throughout the distance, and we were able to get a fuel mileage race as a result. Halfway through for David Land. He's got to be saving fuel right now, hoping to make it out on, make it out on top. Sam Rogers, he's just ready. He's ready to make a move if David Land runs out. But he might have to save fuel too. Down the final corners, the S-curve's coming up. The question will remain, will he have to pit before the checkers? The final straightaway they gone through. Here they come on the hard turn. Down the final S curves, Willie Pitt. Doesn't look like he's gonna come down pit road. Is he gonna slow down a bit? He's not gonna slow down a bit. Coming off the final turn, David Land saves fuel and wins at Silverstone. David Land saves enough fuel, coaxes to the line for the, for the win here at Silverstone. Looked like LaPlan was going to be a winner today, but pitch strategy at the end put him to 27th. A disappointing run for LaPlan, even though he led it the most laps today. But he just barely, just barely was able to get points, even get point to the points position. But man, it could have been so much more for the 49 if he had safe fuel. David Land the winner, and now they're out of gas. <laughs> Anyway, the rest of the field, the results are in. Philip Goldberg has the final point spot. And if you notice, there are only 39 cars in this race. Is because, and the reason is, is because that's the maximum this track can hold in one race. And so the three TA2 drivers did not get to race here today. But a great race nevertheless. And we'll see you guys at Brant's Hatch. Our return to Brant's Hatch. A brand new version of Brant's Hatch from last season. So hopefully that... that version will be much better than what we had last season 
So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed our race from Silverstone. We'll see you at Brands Hatch.